Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and it's about time we start taking care of this log pile. It's a blustery day in the 100 acre woods, so it's gonna be windy, it's gonna be rainy. Nonetheless, we're gonna get the chainsaw out, we're gonna get the uh, log ox out, we're gonna get the hookaroon out, and obviously the splitter's behind me. We're gonna try to make some firewood today. I'm gonna have to cut and split kinda at the same time because I'm not gonna have enough room to put all these rounds over here-ish. So I'm gonna get a couple logs cut up, get them over at the splitter, split them, cut a couple more. I think that's just gonna be the way of the road, as Bubs would say. No, Bubs didn't say that. It was said to Bubs. It's the way of the road, Bubs. It's the way of the road. <laughs> All right guys, well I finished that small pile. It didn't take long at all, probably 10 minutes or so. And we got, uh, I don't know, a cage and a half-ish. Uh, I'm gonna pile this one up high because I actually have a third cage over here from last season that I didn't fill, that I didn't end up filling. So I'm gonna overfill these and then just toss them over there. So, gotta get to some more cutting, some more splitting. I'm probably gonna make a bigger pile this time. That went a little quick. So, Theodore. I don't know if you guys see him. Buddy, you gotta stay out of there. Not a good place for you today. All right, let's get to it.
All right, I know I said I was gonna make a bigger pile than I did last time, but I think I'm just gonna do these rounds because that'll probably fill the two baskets that I have left. So we'll get the Easton made fired back up and we'll do some splitting. I guess I could probably give an idea what things look like back here before we move them. Things are filled up nicely. It's not as heaped as I'd like it, but by the time I cut more wood and get going, then it'll be too much and I'll have to stop right away and move them. So we'll just get these out of the way. And uh, grizzly bars, check this out. They are working nicely. You guys can see there are a couple of firewood pieces in there. I think they're falling through this gap. So we might need to adjust that, but I only count about uh, maybe 10, 15 pieces in there, so it's not a huge, huge deal. But you can see how much scrap this thing really puts off. I don't know if I'm gonna get a trailer or something and put a trailer under here. That's TBD to be determined.
tell you what, things are moister than an oyster over there. We might have to, uh, we might have to rain check on putting things that far back for today at least. Maybe we'll just stack them about where the tractor is because there's a bunch of mulch here, it's still pretty dry, so that might be the move just to get them out of the way for now. That was not good. Tell you what, things would also be a lot easier if I had like a mini skid steer or something. Using this big old tractor to do this 18 point turn to get turned around really is not ideal. So if you know somebody with a mini skid steer company, they're looking to get a couple videos, drop a comment below or hit me up on an email, everythingelliot716 at gmail.com. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for them. We'll put them there for now. Still things dry up, of course. All right, guys, well, that was the first time running the box wedge on the Easton May 2228. Wait, did I? I think the first day I got it, I ran like two rounds through it, but either way, that's neither here nor there. Things running great. I think in the future, we might try to speed this bad girl up a little bit, just a hair, just a touch. I think it's running about six seconds right now. If I could get like five, five and a half, that would be about perfect. And I think you can do that by just adjusting the pump a little bit. I gotta do some research into that. Uh, I gotta call Easton May and see about warranty if there's anything that's gonna affect it or not. But either way, I gotta get to it. I gotta split wood. Like I said, I got limited time today. I only got about three more hours and I've been working for about, uh, what time is it now? About an hour and a half. So, like I said, it takes a lot of time to move these cameras around and you saw things got a little Western there with the tractor. So I mentioned, if you know somebody that's got a skid steer company or a mini skid steer company that would like to get, uh, get involved in the YouTubes, have them hit me up, everythingelliot716 at gmail.com or leave a comment below. I'm gonna cut, split, and uh, normally I'd say stack, but we're not gonna. Subscribe, like, appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.